One of the most outrageous shows in rock and roll belongs to the very controversial Ozzy Osbourne. Uh, recently, our rock expert, Bob Coburn, from KLOS-FM Radio, had a chance to meet the madman himself and find out what's behind the act. He says he's from an ordinary working-class family, but there's nothing ordinary about Ozzy Osbourne. His shows are like something you've never seen before. In fact, we can't even show you all of what he does on stage. But after talking with Ozzy Osbourne, believe me, there is a method to his madness. Anyone looking slightly normal is not allowed in. Anyone suffering from a nervous disposition or pregnant is advised not to attend. And anyone in the Aussie organization takes no responsibility to your mental health after the show. <laughs> Twelve years, Ozzy played with the legendary heavy metal band Black Sabbath. The break came because Ozzy felt held back creatively and needed a new outlet. Well, what happened was at first, I thought my whole world was shattered. I, I, I walked out and I thought, well, I'll pack it all in. And I thought, well, I'll retire and go home and just live on the past and look at my gold discs and my scrapbooks and whatnot and just, that's it, you know. But I lasted about a week doing that and sort of found my manager up. And it was a, a long period of time went by before I could actually find a musician to kick the thing up. I've read, Ozzy, that you've had visions of your life and your death. What does that mean and how do you apply that to your music? It, I, I've, I've had this thing from a very small child, I used to have these dreams, which I can still can't, I can't put, I mean, I've been to psychosis about this. I have dreams of my life and my death. I believe that I'm here for, for some, some reason. I don't, know, I don't know why, I don't know what the hell it's all about. But, but Ozzy now is on his own. Ozzy now is... Is, a, is, a, is attempting to do the unknown, you know. I mean, whatever I come out with will be, will be well worked out. I mean, the, the story of a madman isn't just a thing that I've thought of now. It's just an idea what I've molded around in my head for ages. And in actual fact, when I put, put it to my management, I thought I was totally insane. I was just, you're mad. You've got to be crazy. You can't never do this. You can't throw blood in the air and offal into the audience. I said, why not? Crazy. Put that It's just like a, a like a, um, uh, a fun thing, you know. It's just like a fun madness. It's like I think everyone, everyone has got a certain amount of craziness in them, and I'm the guy to unleash it for you if you like. With Ozzy Osbourne, I'm Bob Coburn, Channel Seven Eyewitness News. Okay.